game show. Y'all need to teach this at Athens State. <laughs> Not you guys ain't do that anymore. That would be a good subject. <laughs> Number one, two, three. Over here, Lynn Hart. Over here to five. Well, y'all don't have Wait, this is wrong. This is right. Today I had something happen, though, and I must address the situation. Wrong. You are not in charge. <laughs> Got all my questions ready? And who's on my iPad this morning? Who's that? When we get here 5 o'clock this morning, she's going through looking for information to make her appear smarter than she is today. Daily Mail is not just for you. Were you cheating? <laughs> no. We shall see. I was actually reading news. And he's All right, here we go. These are news. <laughs> AL.com this morning. I have a hustle time to that on Wednesdays. It's your big buddies with Governor Bentley. You may know this one already. <laughs> Why did Governor Bentley, this is by John Archibald, AL.com. <laughs> John. Why? did you do a thing with him? Yeah. Podcast? He writes some good stuff. He ain't scared of nobody. No. Why did Governor Bentley, he was invited up to receive the first ever Rosa Parks Profile Encourage Award from the African Methodist Episcopal Church this week. He refused because of what? I have not heard that. Even heard though he was in Hoover to accept another award for that. They were giving him this award because he took down the Confederate flag in Montgomery. Probably because he had better things to do. What was his excuse? He didn't have time or he didn't couldn't Safety make the drive? Safety issues. Safety issues. <laughs> Safety issues. Okay. That's what they're saying what? here. It's not like they were laying in wait to ambush the governor in the bushes there. <laughs> Yeah. Safety issues. John, John yeah. is pretty much poking the bear all over the state these and days. And he needs to continue, especially to continue. on Hubbard. He likes it. Too. Especially he on it. Hubbard, and I'll talk more about that tomorrow. There's a guy who probably needs to be in jail. No Tell him I said that, Rick, next time you see him down there. <laughs> uh -huh. Comedian uh, Steve Harvey has just gone in business in Alabama. In what? Latex. 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 Who said that? One? Rick. Rick, two is the correct answer. You know, what are they making there in that plant? <laughs> making gloves and another condom. Yeah, go ahead. You can <laughs> <tell> it, <Rick. laughs> and, and, and I heard they're anything. testing them down there, too. <laughs> How many other latex glove plants are there in the U.S.? Zero, Zero. Another double bonus for number two. Wow. Nice. He's on it today. Okay. Hey, just go ahead and give it to him. All right. Know it all. Here's another one. What is I'm all there? about the latex today. What is <laughs> <laughs> always got to have one. Yeah. <laughs> you can't set him up always one in a bunch. You, you cannot set him up that way. See, you made important. his face turn red. I've never seen that. Yeah, here you go. Here next to Wow. Steve Harvey opened up another business of a new product that's going on sale in Publix, Kroger's, and Walmart's in Atlanta on October 1st. What is it called? Latexer? <laughs> B-rated movies? Harvey's chocolate chip cookies. Easy bacon cooks to a crisp in two minutes, one minute on each side. Yes, that's really. Oh, love bacon. Easy bacon, there you it's go. Got, it's bacon, how could it be bad? That's right. Mm -hmm. One of Alabama's priciest homes heads to auction, 217 Briarwood Circle. <laughs> no. Oh, that's no. wrong, wrong story. Wrong story. 15 bedroom Shelby County mansion has been released now, down from 11.8 value to 17 million. Just hey, what the entire deal. Need. Yeah. Now priced at 9.9 .9 million. There's a shot of it. How many bathrooms has it got? 20. 15. 30. Let's go with these. 16 oh. bathrooms, 12 fireplaces, 25 seat theater, and a deluxe equestrian center. Who needs that? How many square feet of living space would this house have? At one time, it was dubbed the largest house for sale in America. 30,000? Wrong. Wow. Mm. 60,000 square feet. Wow. Slightly bigger than How Gloria's bedroom. That's bathroom. a big house. You have to have the Here's one number five should get easy. What was named the number one event in North Alabama for tourism? I do know this. Wait a minute. Um, <laughs> 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 it wasn't mine. It's okay. If it was yours, you're in trouble. Yeah. The Fiddlers can eat it. The Fiddlers can eat it. Storytelling festival. Story Storytelling. Wrong. You missed it. That's the right answer, though. Where does that happen? 
story? You advertise it with me every year. <laughs> I wasn't aware of that. So. A government shutdown October 1st could immediately suspend or delay food stamp payments to blank number of Americans. How many? 40. 6 million. 70. 6 million? 20 million. 8 million. Hey! 46 million oh, people. Wow. Yesterday I said Volkswagen admitted they're mistaken 400 something thousand vehicles. That has since escalated. Front page of USA Today this morning. How many vehicles are affected? Was it 11 million? 11 million is the correct answer. Yeah. They lied about the emission. It's costing them dearly. They rigged Should. the software. Yeah. Wow. I read I what they did. Yeah, I mean, emission. this was yeah. bad. I'll knock a hole yeah. in my little thing. Huh? Right up your alley. <laughs> All right. You're into baseball big time. Chicago Cubs are on a roll. Mm -hmm. Last time they won a World Series was how many years ago? 1901. They said how many years? Mm -hmm. 110. 110. 110. I'm going to go 114. 7 would be the correct answer, but I'll give that to you. The last pennant they won was 1945. The last series title they won was in 1908. Mm -hmm. Frank, you and Don probably watched it on television, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> USA Today this morning, denim, blue jean. The amount of denim woven in a year is 3 billion yards. How many times would that wrap around Earth? Three. Three? Good answer, but wrong. Six. Six. 67 <laughs> times. 67. That's a lot of denim. That is. All right, let's move right. right along since y'all don't know. I like blue jeans. <laughs> uh, pumpkin spice right now, the flavor of all of them. You know, they got all this pumpkin lattes and all that kind of stuff Be going. Be careful with that stuff. Why? Because some of it's not bad. Um, some of it's very bad for you. Pumpkin spice can be traced back to what year? Cancer. 1925. Wrong. 1776. That's a correct answer. 1796. He's but close. that's not a real question. <laughs> the first cookbook ever to come out was American Cookery. What year did it come out? 1855. 1810. I'm going to go back with Seth. He didn't answer, but the same year. 1796. Did y'all pay attention to the wording of that question? You would have oh, known that. Talk right. a little football, Ohio State. Right up here at it. Notre Dame, man. Notre Dame, how many plays a game is Ohio, Alabama around 100 plays the other day? How many did we, how many is Ohio State averaging a game? 85. 80. 90. 95. 70. 69. So I got to go That's again with one who don't know nothing about football but knew the answer to that one, guys. <laughs> Saw this yeah, man at yeah. Lindsey Lane Baptist Church. He's a personal friend of mine in glory. Dennis Holman. Dennis, they were honored at the 65 championship game. Yeah. They lost their first game to Georgia, 18 to 17, on a fluke play by Georgia. Bear Bryant was mad. Had them show up that morning at sun up to practice. For hours. But Bear Bryant was singing a song that morning when Dennis walked up to him. What was that song? That Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me is the correct answer. <laughs> Jesus loves me is the correct. Dennis's quote is, "We were glad Jesus loved him. I guarantee you, he did love us. Uh, we were in for it." What else happened that season in a seven to seven tie with Tennessee? Was that the run in the mud game? No, no, that no. That was Auburn. No. Yeah, that was Auburn. Kenny Stapler waved off a potential game-winning field goal by David Ray, and then threw the ball out of oh, bounds fourth on down. fourth down. Yeah. Remember that? There's me on the right with Dennis and Church Sunday. Such a nice man. Rick, again, stay awake in Kenny. Awesome. Now, those were the easy questions. Let's move right along. I got a few more here. I ain't got many, but I got a Pope Francis is how old? 77. 74. 78, if that ain't the question. <laughs> what did he leave in the motorcade in yesterday? A Fiat. A Fiat is the correct answer, but that ain't the real question. <laughs> what was Obama in? I'm sure he was in his limo. He was in his limo. What they call it? What's the nickname of that limo? Oh, the Beast. The Beast. That's the correct answer, Dave. You're on up today. It is a one I wish I was. Oh, there's Zach. We got some good money. It's a one million service. dollar armor plated vehicle. All right, why is Mike Huckabee blasting the White House over the Pope's visit with Obama? 
because he's a government official. He doesn't that like some of the do. guests that they're. That is a correct answer. Who are who is the guest he's complaining about? I, I didn't I didn't see that part. Let me fill you in on that. Mm -hmm. A 50 right. year old ex nun who Obama invited and she can bring her wife. They want a wife with her. They want to speak to the Pope about the LGBT community. He's surround a woman with a bunch of women. Oh, that many years. Political cattle call for gay and pro-abortion activists is what they are calling this. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. That's is it. the Pope anti I read the news. all this? Yes, the Pope is anti He's anti making a lot of changes in doctrine in the Catholic Church, though. He is. Yeah. He's He's a lot of significant changes. A banker who's worth $20 billion bought and tore down a $43 million mansion in the Hamptons. Why? I love this story. Like it. it was his boss that wouldn't give him a promotion. <laughs> and he went and started his own hedge fund. <laughs> tore it down, tore a $43 million mansion down, and then rebuilt it. Took five years, it's just finished. That Are you serious? the size of that one. He yep. bought it and tore it. Who's down. the dumb one here? Zach, words of wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> the truth is, you don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. Life is a crazy ride and nothing is guaranteed. All right, y'all heard this story Good today. Right. Good one. Wait, how do you sing happy birthday? In the key of G. Good <laughs> 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 answer. It's in G. Sing me a little bit of happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay, that's enough. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, Rick, they just now rule this in public domain. Mm -hmm. Somebody's been getting copyright off of it. In what year did this first come out in a newspaper article? The mm -hmm. lyrics to Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Was it like the 1860s or Wrong. 1850s? Okay. 1776. <laughs> it's far too far for you. 1901. <laughs> The song was written by sisters Mildred and Patty Hall wow. in, 19, in 1893. It was derived from what other children's song? Mary Had a Little Lamb. Good answer, <laughs> no, Bo Peep. <laughs> Good morning no, to Bo all. Y'all ever heard of that? Oh, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, four. Frank, I got two. I, I ask questions and you try to answer. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them straight, Frank. It is in the Pop Guinness Book of Records for most famous lyrics and most times sung by anybody. Double bonus question. So now do they You're get royalties? Eligible. Do they get royalties off of? Not anymore. Okay. okay. All right. Double bonus <laughs> question. Now get ready to go out here and get on back on time. Y'all know who Peter is. Oh my! Oh, yeah. Least favorite group in the world. He's up right like now. And is suing over copyright infringement. They have nothing to get to ownership of a selfie. To who? What are they suing over? A dog. For what? This is a the dog. dumbest one yet. No. He is actually suing a guy that took a selfie. I'm afraid this is going to come after me for hitting the, that dog. The dentist, I don't know. The dentist that killed the lion. I mean, I don't know. But I couldn't help it. Mm. All right. Who is Naruto? That's him. Naruto. A chihuahua. It's a you know the answer? It's a no. That monkey. Oh, come on. He is saying that monkey deserves right to that selfie he took with that guy's camera. Oh, for Yeah, that that's absolutely <laughs> That is what they're saying. And, they have they got and according to other lawyers, they have a very strong case. Oh, are you kidding me, well, Judge? Just put him on the defendant's stand <laughs> and uh, let's uh, ask him some questions. But they're saying he has a very strong case because there is nothing that says that a uh, selfie or a copyright thing cannot belong to an animal. What the monkey gonna do with well, some money? The next time Cotton's up here, please get Dan. Hey, <laughs> I'm serious. I was I afraid to put on about Facebook that. about me hitting that dog the other day because I was afraid Peter folks would go crazy because I didn't hit a car instead of you the dog. I had a lady actually at uh, work yesterday said, you mean you hit the dog? I said, it was hit the dog or hit a car. I hit the dog. So I, I did what I had to do. Sorry, Peter. 